So as you all know, I've been very busy as of late, and I've been earning a little bit more money than usual, so I've been able to spoil myself, and being that it is the festive season, I've decided to give myself an early Christmas present. Now, when I was young, you know, there, there, there are some things that you do in life that make you really happy, that bring you so much joy and excitement, and it never gets old, you know, every time this thing happens, you still have that, that same feeling, those, those magical butterflies are spinning in your stomach. And I can remember when I got my first PlayStation, the feeling that swept over me. My mother, she bought the one that had the Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped and Abe's Exodus pack. Those Because you usually get like some games with the console. Um, that was the first PlayStation game, two games I had, Crash Bandicoot and Abe's Exodus, which was awesome, because, you know, the game was about how they were turning all the alien people in the community, or civilization, uh, they were turning them into pies, actually killing them, and using them to sell them back to the, the people, or the aliens. Um, and you could fart in the game, and you're like, come here, and it was great, it was actually a really cool game, I like to play it again, but anyway, I remember the feeling of having that for the first time, and in the box, in the car, I think it was from um, Target or Kmart that we bought it, and I was over the world. I was over the world. And then the PS2 came, I think my first game and that was Spyro, and something else, I can't remember. My PlayStation 3 I remember, my mum actually bought it for me initially, and then I paid it off after two weeks. And the first game I had on that, the PlayStation 3, was Mirror's Edge. And that was a cool game, it was pretty much all about parkour running around on buildings, all about evasion and escaping helicopters, thundering down with bullets and not too much fighting involved, it's more about the defensive and you know, checking out your surroundings and trying to find escape routes and it was, it's really cool, really cool game, I suggest anyone uh, to play it if you're up for something different and if you enjoy the feeling of falling constantly off buildings, because it's pretty realistic and I gotta say it's a bit cathartic I did it a good 14, 15 times the first time I fell off a building and you just hear the wind rushing up your ears and you see your hands falling and then you hear your body break as it hits the ground making unique sounds every time you do this. Um, very cool. But anyway, what is it, what's all this got to do with anything? Well, like I said, I've been making a little bit more moolah. I've been somewhat conservative so far with my cash because you've got to be wise and make sure you've got enough for cash flow and all that. But there are some hefty chunks coming in and to be honest, it's getting a little bit too heavy for me and I just want to have fun. I just want to go fuck it right now and I've been thinking about this for a while and now I've made the choice to commit and I'm experiencing that same feeling that I have when I was god knows how young. I mean the PlayStation 1 is 20 years old now. You know so I would have been around 8 years old, 9 when I finally got my one. Maybe younger, 7, 8. Um, and the feeling I had in my little boyish heart then, I had the same feeling. Now you should have seen me walking in the shop with this baby, yeah, you should have seen me. I was, I was, I couldn't, I couldn't shut down my smile. I couldn't hide it, you know. I was just like do, 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 walking through fucking Garden City with this baby, and it comes with four games. It's pretty cool. Let me show you the games. And my original plan was to wait till the whole console dropped because six hundred dollars just for a console and one control and four games is a bit expensive, but. You know, and that's, you know, it's worth the investment, like, gaming to me is exploring world with your friends, and it really is an investment. It's not just wasting money, but it saves you money in the long run, because instead of having to go out all the time, the typical party culture of go to Northbridge, spend 100, 150 on getting pissed, and then catch a taxi home at 2, 3 in the morning, doesn't really do it for me, it's pretty expensive, that is. Whereas this, you make your initial... You know, investment, lay down your bucks, and you get endless gameplay with your friends, drinks at home. Fun for the whole family, right? So, you kind of fun with the whole family if you just got one controller. So without even thinking about it, I got the second controller. There's going to be more, but I'm going to see if I can find some more discounted ones around the place. Maybe cashews or something. And it's red, so it will go faster. Little Big Planet 3, stretching the barriers of your imagination. How cool is that? Watch Dogs, $23. I can't believe that dropped down, so, oh, $47. Well, that was part of the package, Watch Dogs. I've heard good things about this open world game. I think it's open world. UFC, I got that one separately because I love the UFC game, you know, the whole franchise. And unfortunately, I don't have Bruce Lee on this one because you had to pre-order if you wanted Bruce Lee. And that would have been cool 
getting to kick your mate's ass as Bruce Lee, right? So, um, Anthony Silva versus Bruce Lee would have been awesome. But hopefully I can order him online. Either way, this is a brutal game. It's one of the best games, my favorite games for multiplayer action. Looking forward to kicking your ass on this surge. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to fight easy. I do like the Infamous series, the fact that you get to use electricity uh, to totally lift up and then everything in the city and then slam it and destroy shit, like th hurling cars at people and electrifying people. And you suck electricity out of cars and everything just to get your energy back up. I mean, that's pretty cool. So Infamous, Second Son, 23, uh, 28 bucks, why not? Going back to Piers 3 for a moment, because I'm not finished just because something's old, it doesn't mean it's stale. I believe in the two-day rule, or at least the two-decade rule. Uh, Borderlands the prequel! Yeah! Big Borderlands fan, I don't even need to say why. If you've played it, you'll understand that it's the best sh multiplayer game. It's the best shooting game. It's the shooting game that all shooting game fans ever wanted. And more. And I'm looking forward to playing the third installment, which is actually the prequel to the second Borderlands. And really looking forward to Borderlands 3 coming out on PS4, apparently, in time to come. Far Cry 4. I've heard good things about this. On an island, shooting every motherfucker in sight. That's pretty much it. That came with the console, um, as did the Little Big Planet and Watch Dogs. Oh, he seems to... He seems to have given me... He seems to have given me f two cases. How's that? Two cases. That's that's a bit weird, isn't it? Hopefully there isn't like a mix-up and I'm missing a game. Drive Club. We have a racing game. That came with the console, so why not? And The Last of Us Remastered. Now, if you want an emotional roller coaster ride of a game, plus the suspense, the action, the gameplay itself, um, and if you like zombies, you know, then this little number is absolutely to die for. It is a must. You've got to play this game. It doesn't matter if it's on PS3 or... I don't know if you can play it on Xbox. Only on PlayStation, so... I guess not. But it is amazing. Like, they actually use the motion capture technology. Um, so it's pretty much like a movie, you know, with all different sequences. Uh, it's got Ellen Page in it. And uh, it's just... It's amazing. I think her name's Ellen Page. That's a name, right? That girl? Whatever. Um, they've remastered this for PS4. The graphics on the original one, PS3, were astonishing. So colourful, vibrant, rich, detailed. The sceneries, the places you go through. And the gameplay was just raw and moody and... Whoa, man. Like, whoa. Seriously. Impacting. Emotionally. I had tears at some points. Probably gonna play it again. I'll get a friend to play it. So I can just watch and enjoy it again, but a little bit better than last time. Um, I think that was all. I don't think they messed up. I think I've just got an extra, an extra case for free now. I think that's what's happened. Either way, if they stuffed up something, I'll figure it out. But I'm excited. Um, I hope you're excited that I'm excited because damn, like this is this is this is great for me, you know, and. Wow! You know, I feel like a child again. Because, you know, some things just never die. And, I don't know, I've got to do some quotes, I've got to do some admin stuff. But my reward is, I get to treat myself to some of that action. You know what I'm saying? Yeah! So, awesome. I just thought I'd share the news because I, I'm just really happy right now. And my hard work has paid off. Now I can save... I don't need to spend one more dollar, dollar on anything else. I am content with life. And it's not to say I'm a gamer and I'm going to lock myself in a room and never come out to play with anyone else. But besides work, I'm pretty much going to be locked in the room playing these games. But people are welcome to join me. Hey? Yeah. Yeah, well, I say that. But really, I, I've only got to play the PlayStation like once or twice in the last month and a half. Two months. So I probably won't have too much time to enjoy it. But, you know, quality over quantity, at least now when I do have the time, is going to be super duper worthwhile with a cape and everything. So, uh, yeah. Hope you guys are enjoying your Christmas or Christmas coming, because I know I certainly am and will be.
Thanks for watching, guys. Take care of yourselves. Bless.